All right, YouTube, <laughs> another day in the shop. I can tell you, a riveting we will go. I gotta make that song up. Hi-ho, hi-ho, a riveting we will go. So no, we're back in the shop. Gonna uh, work on the riveting of the horizontal stabilizer. I still got the front, the, the bottom of the horizontal stabilizer uh, to get done. And then we gotta flip it over. I gotta remove that uh, spar, that center spar, like I did on the bottom on the front side and then get those countersunk so we don't have the same debacle. I don't wanna say debacle, but we don't uh, lose any any time and and realizing, riveting up things and realizing that they're not, not done. So we've got a lot of bucking to do, a lot of riveting. And like always, this plane's not gonna build itself. So stay tuned. All right, YouTube, back in the shop. <laughs> Yesterday I made the beginning video, but I never made the end video. Because it was uh same thing over and over and over again. Rinse and repeat. As we got the this side of the horizontal stabilizer. Everything is riveted up and ready to go. Now we flipped it over. Now we're gonna be working. This is actually the the top of the horizontal stabilizer so we're going to be getting that riveted in as you can see the clecos i still have the blue on so i got to take that off but more importantly this is the piece that i forgot to countersink and basically it goes something like this but of course behind the skins so i have to countersink this today slide it back in and get it clecoed back into the plate there and uh, we will be good to go so that's what we're gonna do today and then of course we're gonna start riveting this side if you guys remember we did the this row here first all the way across we did that in one operation then we did the riveting on each side each one of these on the next day and then the following day we completed the, the, the following side I'm going to do as much as I can do. You know my rules. Um, about two hours uh, per day. Two to three hours. After that, it gets kind of dodgy. Start making stupid mistakes, doing a lot doing a lot more repairs than actually building. So, so we'll see what we can do today and uh, see if we can keep this uh, horizontal stabilizer on schedule to be completed at the end of the month. <laughs> it's going to be tight. It's definitely gonna be tight, but we'll, we'll do what we can do, right? The triangle, you get quality, time, and price. Well, the price is fixed, so now you got quality and time. I'd take, I'd take quality over time any day. So if it takes me a few more days to get this done, then it takes me a few more days. You know, I mean, project plans are project plans. They're plans, they're not, they're not written in stone. So that's where we're at today, And uh, but you know, like always, this plane's not gonna build itself, so I need to get uh, get the countersink in here. All right, YouTube, so I wanna share something with you. This is something I discovered. When you are shooting these bottom, this spar, this front spar in here, don't attach here, let this float. And let me tell you why, let this skin here float. Don't attach it. Because when you get down to here, you're gonna see that this rib here this um in spar is going to be in your way so you won't be able to see but look at this if you let this float and you come back just a little bit you can see the rivets down there and that will help you see those rivets i don't know if you guys can see that with the uh with the lighting or the poor lighting but let this float don't attach this because you won't be able to really see your bucking so let this float out and then that will you it will give you enough of an angle between the skin and this spar here that you can actually see the rivet as you're as you're bucking just uh just a lesson i learned i wanted to share that with you guys all right youtube there you go so what i decided to do instead of doing the whole string all the way down i did one panel got that done the only recommendation that I would have, now this is when you have the other side already already done, or already uh, already riveted, not done, but riveted. Um, 
start from this spar or this rib and work out. Two things, number one, because this backside is now riveted, you're not gonna get flexibility. It's not gonna be too flexible. So it's gonna be a lot of work if you tighten it up and try to work in, especially these are your hardest ones because of this spar that runs here um, to bend and to get an alignment. So start from here and work your way out. So the way I did it is I did this row, this row, this row, and then shot these and then these. And then finally, at the end of the day, was able to get this last one. That's for me, your mileage might differ. I mean, that's up to, totally up to you, but I'm just telling you that you wanna be able to flex to get your hands in there, cause that's a tight space now. And I'll kind of show you. I mean, that's a real tight space. I mean, my hand, I got big meaty hands, or it's hard to do that. So if I was to button this up first and work, it would be hard. Where here, if I'm working out, this is still flexible and I can get my hands in there. So that's the, what I did is I did this one and then worked my way out. I found that to be easy. Don't be surprised if you have difficulty getting those tines, the, the tines here, let me see, these tines and the rivets lined up. You're just gonna have to work with it. Use your punch that I showed you and uh, run it. If you have a smaller punch, it would be better if you can come in from the inside this way and then follow it back out with your rivet. But other than that, that's uh, about it. So there you go, YouTube, another glorious day in the shop. I figured I got about another, another day on this other side and then another day buttoning up, putting on the back spar and the side ribs. So, uh, so two days, so by Saturday, Sunday, one thing I did notice, I am running really low on some rivets that I will be using here on, on these guys here along the bottom. So I might have to go to the hanger, the EAA hanger, and uh, borrow some. <laughs> I got some on order, but I might run out. I don't know. I made a lot of mistakes that one where, have where I had to cut the whole rib out. So um, that's about it. But uh, you know, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and like always, Take care of yourself. Take time out for yourself. Do what you enjoy doing. Life is too short. And, you know, hug your loved ones. And and really, I, I can't say this any more sincere than this. God bless you. Take care of yourselves.